Hello, my beautiful Aries. Brenda here with your Aries extended reading for March the 13th to the 19th. Starting off with finances and career, romance, relationships, outcome card, and what you need to focus on. So let's see what we have here for the week with your finances and your job and your career. Well, we did see that you have the beautiful card here of the sun and also uh, the beautiful card here of the the star so I do see prosperity coming in we came out here in the beginning with the ace of pentacles and that's all about prosperity so there could be something coming forward here in the form of money for you job change career uh, leveling up different job description uh, better pay all of those things so let's see they've given you one card already let's see what we have here let's move these cards up okay the two cards they've given you is the ornaments and they've given you the rose. <clears throat> okay, so there, there, there is going to be some financial relief here because we talked about this page of pentacles or this ace of pentacles. I got to get my mouth working right here. Sorry about that, Aries, but yeah. Okay. Okay. There's going to be some financial relief and you're going to find comfort and peace in that. Um, I do think that you're going to be taken care of financially. I think things are going to come in that are going to allow you. You could be getting paid from a job you did in the past that perhaps has been sitting there uh, waiting for you. Um, and for whatever reason, you haven't received it yet, but you will. You're getting support from somebody and from some sort of source. There's going to be job security as well. I do think that your job is waiting for you. Your job will be there for you. Your job is secure for you. Uh, know that you're going to be in a good place here. I think you're growing. You're expanding. Whatever you've been doing, because we talked about when we had the book card here, we talked about the fact that you were stepping out there and you were being able to go after things that you wanted. Um, and that is taking more education that is you know stepping up and you know you had this book card and that's all about stepping up and taking you know taking and learning more skills with what you've got or something brand new and I think that's where you're going to be growing and expanding here as well um, I do think that you know you have this position here where you're going to be supporting others as well with your job and your career and that's something that you love to do there's going to be some extra money here Okay, and I think you're going to be able to make some sort of a mature investment into something that's going to uh, make you want to celebrate. Um, I do think that you could be selling something. Maybe you're selling a home. Maybe you're selling real estate. Maybe you're selling a car. Maybe you're selling something that's going to bring you in some extra money. Um, you are trying to set yourself up. Uh, for the future and that is making sure that you have the money there to eventually take time off and perhaps retire some of you um, but I do think that you're going to be doing that I think you're going to find that things are going to work out in your favor when it comes to money for some reason there could be some assets that you've got that are going to bring you in some money or maybe this new this job is paying you more money so you're going to have the finances there to do it so this is this is pretty interesting now, let's see what we have here for relationships and or romance, okay? So we'll move these up here. See what we have here for relationships or romance or partnerships in general. But it can be same sex. It can be, uh, you know, playmate, love mate, or life mate. It can be marriage. It can be divorce. It can be anything here. So let's see what we have here. Spirit, what does Aries need to see? Thank you. Okay telling me one more card thank you see as soon as they say that it flies out when they tell me one more card okay so what do we got here <clears throat> well for some of you um you might be uh involved with somebody and this could be this as i was saying remember i mentioned the player here the knight of cups <laughs> or pardon me not the knight of cups the knight of wands i got to get these here where they belong um, they were like this in the original reading and I moved them around and got them all mixed up so this is the way they should have showed up in the original reading okay so we talked about this knight of wands and I said this knight of wands is to me is the player comes in really fast they like to flirt and, and they want to have fun and they're charming and all of those wonderful things but beware because there's not, there may not be enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Uh, again, I said they were a player. They come in, they get what they want. You have a ball with them. You have a great, hot, and heavy love affair. But maybe they're just going to come in for a short period of time. So prepare yourself for that. Because you know what? You deserve love. So if this happens to you, okay, if somebody shows up here, Aries, and, and it tends to be a hot and heavy love affair and it's short-lived, 
uh, don't blame yourself for this, okay? Don't beat yourself up. You have the right to know that you're lovable and you can attract the right person. But for whatever ha reason why, uh, maybe some of you are out on a dating app and you're meeting people and, uh, you know, everything looks hunky-dory and wonderful and, uh, you know, you think that things are secure and then all of a sudden they ghost you or they, they, they make up some sort of reason why they don't want to see you anymore and then you start beating yourself up thinking, well, what did I do wrong? What was wrong with me? Why didn't it work? Don't do that, okay? You deserve the right person. So for whatever reason, this could be a stepping stone to you realizing that you need to, to love yourself and know that you have this ability. Now, you could have fun with this person because, you know, it, this is about having fun with somebody. Um, but it might not be, this, you know, it might be just better as a friendship and having a great time than actually having a life mate, a, a permanent partner in life. So think about that. Now, your outcome card. Let's see what we have here. For your outcome card keep in mind this is a general reading my beautiful Aries this doesn't pertain to everybody but take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe to those that it does see what we have here what do they need to see know and expect what does Aries need to uh, let go of relinquish surrender to you want one more there it is okay my spirits talk to me. All right. I'll move these down here. Okay. So the first thing you've got is surrender to inner peace, surrender to divine timing, and surrender to outdated beliefs about yourself. So remember I said to you, don't beat yourself up. Don't start thinking that things aren't working out because you have this you know, this is predestined and, you, you know, you're having bad luck. It's not, okay? Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from your past, okay? Then you can own your power and soar, you know, in your life. So let go of any past energy around you. Any, don't make comparisons between relationships you had in the past and ones you're having now, okay? Now, yes, things can become a pattern. We get comfortable in a pattern, whether it's a good pattern or a bad pattern. But you need to let that go. Okay, surrender that. Let go of outdated beliefs about yourself. This is a brand new beginning. Know that you need to surrender to your inner peace and, and take yourself there to that place because you deserve all the good luck that's coming into you here. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. So this is, you know, perhaps you need to take yourself to the silence, to that space, do more mat work, do more prayer work, do more mat meditation work, do more yoga, whatever it is that you need to do to bring you to that peaceful place and realize that you deserve the love, the attention, the respect, all of that. You deserve success. You deserve good health. You deserve all of this. Surrender to divine timing. You could be waiting for something and you're wondering why it isn't here yet. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. Remember I talked about something in the original reading here to do with May, getting back to basics. So something may occur in the month of May for you. Okay, so keep that in mind. Again, it's a general, but that, that did come out in the original reading here. So let's see what we have to focus on here. My beautiful Aries, what do you need to focus on, Spirit? What do they need to truly focus on here so that they can continue moving forward and taking themselves into balance and center? Okay, Spirit, one card, please. One card, please, for, Ar for Aries, please. What do they need to focus on? Okay. Opportunity. Okay, so something's going to come up here. I had said to you that something could be happening quickly here. Could be in May, but something could even be happening faster than that. Uh, this is quick moving, and it's almost like, woo, all of a sudden, bang, there it is. got to get up. Put your coat, cat and coat on and get out that door. So opportunity is knocking, but it can come in the form of a new job. It can come in the form of a new relationship. Uh, doors of opportunity are opening up for you. So don't be afraid, my beautiful Aries, to turn that knob and go after what it is you want. Don't be afraid. Step up into that, into, uh, step up into your self-confidence and go after it because something's going to show up here. But it's going to come in at the perfect time, too. Well, my beautiful Aries, this is your extended reading for March the 13th to the 19th. And 
I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. And always know I continue to send you lots of love and many blessings. And I'll see you soon.